Hey everyone, welcome back to DIY with Dewey. So today what we're gonna do is we are changing out the factory seat belts and we're putting in aftermarket seat belts. I'll go ahead and remove the seat right now and then I'll cut back in a bit. Okay, so what we have is a box right here. It's a three point. So it comes with the buckle as well. And I'm just tired of my my factory seat belts are really old and dingy looking, sun faded and everything, and these are brand new. So the, I know the mounting points are a little different, but we're gonna go ahead and install these in here and see how it looks with an aftermarket seat belt. So this is the unit that we're installing. We're gonna see if everything lines up okay, but you'll be able to um, purchase the same item from the link below. All right, let's get started. 14 millimeter bolt right here. And this actually goes into this side wall right here. There's a, from down here. So you just undo that. This is normally connected right here. And then there's one screw that goes from here goes from here to the seat, the factory seat. So this goes like this. So this is where the factory seat belt normally mounts. This goes, this bolt goes, holds that. This bolt stays right there. And this bolts onto your seat, your factory seat. So with our, our new seat belt, this one right here, we will mount it. So you can mount that to that. And since the passenger side on this car doesn't have the sensor, we can just leave this dangling like this. We don't need to plug it into anything. These are for the speaker wires, headrest speakers from the factory seat. But we'll go ahead and just, we don't need to connect that to anything. And basically there's the replacement. So it fits, it looks like it fits okay. Um, this bracket bends instead of being straight, so if it gets in the way, we can bend this straight. But let's go ahead and leave it like that for now. So those are 14 millimeter brackets, or bolts, I mean. Right there. So that's where the seat belt will mount once it's all complete and done. So this, our factory seat belt doesn't retract anymore either. It's just, it stays extended completely. Factory seat belt, it's completely seized, or it doesn't spin. So let's go ahead and remove this right here. Okay. There you go. Go ahead and remove. So it's just a regular 10 millimeter. Set that aside. Another 10 millimeter down here. And then this cap, just, this just pops up. I'll show you how it connects. There. So 
it looks like there's two pins right in the middle. It's so fragile, like it just broke. But um, usually this this is, goes into that hole right there, and there's pins that keep it in place, so it pops in. So after we reassemble this, we will probably put a double-sided tape on it, 3M double-sided tape, um, just to make sure it doesn't fly away. All right, we'll have to do that bolt. This for the hardtop mount. I don't know if you have it on your vehicle. And this cover, Phillips. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Phillips screw up here. So this metal piece just comes right off, side of the side. Hard top side mount. So I'm using a, this bit's pretty big, so make sure you use a big enough size so you don't strip the screw. Set that aside. So this cap just lifts up as well. And it holds its place by these two pins. So I guess the better way would be to, there we go. So let's say it's on like that, push it back that way. So lift it up a little and then slide it that way because this kind of holds it in place this pin right here all right this rubber seal bolts look like 17 millimeter bolts yeah 17 millimeter the top seatbelt mount too That aside, go ahead and unscrew the, the brace. Set that aside, and there's a little pin right here. You can put your fingernail under it on both top and bottom, and then you can slowly pull this out. If not, you can probably use a really thin um, knife or um, flathead screwdriver but just be really careful so you don't destroy this it's just plastic all right this lifts up so basically from here yeah you don't have any more bolts so then this just wiggles out of the way from this right here, you lift this, you pop this little rectangle pin off. So there's four tabs. We push those tabs in order to release it. So then now you can work the seatbelt through. Right here it detaches. There we go. And this piece pops out this way so 
basically I'll show you the pins that are holding it pin pin and just these two kind of just go into the notches the holes but they don't really snap in place so it's this pin and this pin those are the only pins I really see on here but all right set that aside now we can see the seatbelt mechanism seatbelt mechanism so we already undid this one this was the 14 millimeter right here this was a 14 millimeter that I told you earlier that was right here so we already undid this, this is the, the bottom mount and then now we're gonna take out the, the seatbelt unit this right here two bolts looks like 10 millimeter and a 14 millimeter down there Right under this harness right here, you can kind of move it out of the way, but there's a 14 millimeter bolt right there. Okay. I might need an extension. Oh, it's a 17 millimeter, not 14. Sorry. So it's a uh, 17. So far, I'm still working on getting this 17 millimeter bolt off the bottom of the seatbelt unit. So we have it out completely. There, the whole unit's out. Now we'll compare it with the new replacement. So here's the new replacement that we're trying to put in. You'll see the mounting bolts are completely different. So let's see how we can make a custom bracket for this. And so we'll transfer things over. So this right here. This has like a little washer that's kind of holding it in place. So you can just keep unscrewing it. So this is the factory seatbelt. We got the, oh. So that's the washer right here. There. So what we're doing is we're going to switch this over to this aftermarket one. So we're getting this bolt off so this bolt can go in there. After you remove that little lock washer thing, this whole thing comes off. And this comes off. Doesn't look like we we can't use 
we can't use this ring because it's too too large to fit over. So basically we're done with that. Let's see if we can use this plastic piece. It looks like we can. So we're gonna use as much as a factory as we can. There we go. So this will go in there. This still closes, but there's a little gap. We can get a smaller bolt or we can just go with this. I think I'll just go with this. So basically, we're assembling just the way we took it off. All right, and once we're done, this will mount. All we did was screw it on, and that's what it would look like after it's done. So maybe I need a smaller, shorter screw for that, so this cap stays on better. But this bolt is really high. We'll mount this down there, and let's check this one out. So here's the other. There. So I'm gonna use the factory bolt for now since I don't have another 14 millimeter bolt, but we'll connect. All right. So that's in. Here, so we're, we're just mocking it up to see if it, everything works. See belt. And then we So basically make sure it locks into the new seat belt. There. And then release. But what we're gonna do is we will try to reuse the bottom bracket right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill out these two rivets. So I'm using a 15. All right, it should come off pretty soon. There we go. So I just banged it a couple times and got the rivets out. See the rivets right there? These two. 
So now you can maneuver this. There we go. So now we're gonna reuse this. And let's see if we can mount the new seatbelt to this. Let's see if any of these holes line up. Pretty close. If you like, this actually lines up pretty well to that right there. So I think what we'll do is we'll use these pre-existing holes and put some screws right there. So we'll see. And then basically we want this down here. Okay, yeah, so that would work. I don't have a uh, vice over here with me, but let's go ahead and drill a pilot hole first. This is, was supposed to be an easy job, but it's ending up being much more difficult. So I'm gonna hold it with my foot and basically just drill. Close to the middle as possible. There we go. Yeah, make sure you use a vice. Be be safe. Safer than me. And yeah, that was much easier. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and mount it. We'll have to figure out what nut and uh, bolt size that is. Okay, it was 13 millimeter, so it must be like a standard size. All right, see the seatbelt right here? What we're gonna do is attach this bracket to that first. So we're putting the washer under, bolt on top, through the washer and then put the nut on the bottom. Right, make sure you tighten that. Make sure it's on there really good. You don't want that moving anywhere. All right, we have our bracket, custom bracket. I guess it's a factory, custom factory bracket. And let's go ahead and bolt the 17 millimeter bolt on the bottom back in.
it. Okay, good. So it's working the way it should. You pull it fast and it locks. And the tension, the way the tension is, our custom bracket should hold up okay. All right, let's put the interior back together and see what the whole thing looks like after it's complete. We want the plastic trim first. Let's go ahead and All right. So let's go ahead and get the seat belt through first. That. So remember what earlier what we did, had to do? What we had to do was move, snap the bottom in first. There we go. Line it all up. Here, let's, let's move this out of the way so you can see. So line up the bottom first, and then even this, lift up the bar, the strut bar, or brace bar. I don't know what, maybe the tower brace. I don't know what people really call this. Get it under the carpet. All right. And you, you wanna line up everything first before you snap it in. So make sure this is lined up. So we're doing this piece still. And you can kind of see if you, if you push it from this side, you can actually see, make sure everything was lined up and then once it's lined up, you can snap it in place. All right, so our new seatbelt's in. It's, gone, it's going through this little notch. Come on. So what I did right here, basically you can move this aside, slide this notch down. It has to be long ways this way, the thin side facing this way like that. So we don't have this trim right here anymore, but I can do without it. Seventeen millimeter bolt. All right, and I notice now that we tighten this all the way. This cap goes on completely. There you go. It actually looks pretty good. Doesn't look bad at all. There, new seatbelt. Let's go ahead and attach the bolt for the brace. So I have to rotate. This is a little larger than the factory one.
We, this is the factory cap we don't need. All right. Let's go ahead and put this, the rubber seal to the doorway. Right here. So this little rubber seal. Lift this up a little, tuck it under. There we go. And then this cap. Phillips screw. With this, I, I don't put it in tight yet. Put it on pretty loose. Oh, wrong hole. Just kidding. Here. So it goes down here, and that's the way the plastic cap went. There. Push it in. 10 millimeter, another 10 millimeter. Get your 10 millimeter. Tighten those. All right, final stretch. Um, this cap. I'll probably have to double side tape. Right now it's just kind of sitting in there. All right. So this is what we have so far. And this is basically... So all the carpet's back in. The seat's not in. We have aftermarket seats. But there's where the seat belt would go. And there, no more faded seat belt. This is what the tag says, so it's kind of generic. But same thing, you do the same thing for the other side. Except for the other side, you have to connect the seat belt. Um, I know my driver's side has a seat belt buckle. Um, for the sensor but you just wire it up so you can splice into your factory wire harness i'm gonna try to cut it with scissors i don't know how soft the plastic is there so you could actually cut it you could use a dremel if you want but let's go ahead and get the seatbelt off So right now, you can see it's kind of missing that. So basically you just slide this in. There you go. And then it should hold it in place because it's a snap. There. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Can't even tell. Alright. Here, we'll move this down. So I just move the, the seatbelt buck, buckle down a little bit. Hey everyone. Alright, well thanks for watching. That concludes our video of how to install aftermarket seatbelt on a Mazda Miata. Um, this should be the same for most Mazda Miatas, but this one is a 1994 Mazda Miata. It's very similar for a 1989 through 1997 NA Miata. So I'm gonna mount, I just kind of mounted this here for now. But there you have it, we have new seat belts. Alright, well thanks for watching and please hit the like and subscribe button.